Is XRP now going to the moon after the current news? And what is going on with the Bitcoin hash rate at the moment? More info about that and so much more after the intro. Let's start off directly with the market overview. The Ethereum dominance is 18.3%, the Bitcoin dominance is 40.1%. The Ethereum price is today 1196 USD, Bitcoin is trading at 16646 USD. The Fear and Greed Index is now at 28, so at the status Fear. Please keep in mind that my videos do not contain any financial advice. They only serve for informational and entertainment purposes. After the news I'm going to show you some interesting insights on different coins and tokens that are currently trending. So make sure to watch the video until the end. Market Situation The total market cap is now just below the 800 billion threshold, so it finally broke out yesterday after failing to rebound three times since December 19. The Glassnode data show that the number of BTC accumulators is still increasing, despite the ongoing bear market and all of the stuff that is going on right now on the crypto market. The number of accumulation addresses is almost at an all-time high with almost 800,000 addresses, which can be interpreted as a bullish sign for Bitcoin. But the Glassnode report also shows that holders that have bought Bitcoin in the more recent times are facing high losses. Around 8 million Bitcoin are currently held in unrealized loss, which is an unbelievable number. And analysts also expect that it is possible for Bitcoin to reach a price of only 10k in the first quarter of 2023. Bitcoin hash rate The Bitcoin hash rate has dropped significantly after several miners in Texas went offline voluntarily due to the current weather conditions there that led to several power outages. Around 1.4 million homes and also businesses did not have access to electricity, so as a result the hash rate dropped by 35% in only 24 hours. It now seems to be up again, but the fact that there was such a significant drop raises the question about the decentralization of the Bitcoin mining. According to John Stefanopoulos, the founder of Futurebit, the mining of Bitcoin is too dependent on the weather and other geological factors. He said, quote, If hash rate was distributed evenly around the world by tens of millions of small miners instead of a few dozen massive mines, this event would not have been registered on the network. Unquote. What is also interesting in this context is that the miners that are publicly listed almost sold all of their Bitcoin portfolio in 2022 due to the ongoing bear market, the falling prices, the increased hash rate and the rising energy costs. Tom Dunlevy made that clear in one of his Twitter posts, saying that of the 40.7k BTC mined, 40.3k were sold. But it seems that in December the miners have been able to increase their reserves by almost 1%, so it looks like they seem to be stabilizing again. XRP News The XRP price has not been able to reflect all of the developments and promising partnerships that have been made in the last few months and years. According to the news, the Republic of Palau is now working with Ripple Labs on developing a so-called national stablecoin. In an interview with Joanna Elsinger from Bloomberg, the president of the Republic of Palau, Surangel Wips Jr. said, quote, said, quote, This is a new word for Palau, but we are excited to be part of it. One of the advantages that we have is we're small and hopefully we can mobilize our government and be more adaptive to the changes that need to be made in this fast-changing environment, unquote. Even Chang Peng Zhao visited the Republic of Palau to discuss the possibility of using Binance Pay for the digital payments in the Republic. Palau does not have a central bank, but they use USD as their official currency, and now working with Ripple Labs on a USD backed stablecoin might help them a ton in developing their own CBDC as well. XRP is currently trading at 0.35 USD. We will see whether all of the various adoptions and developments of Ripple will help drive XRP to the moon in the next bull market. Regarding the Ripple vs SEC case, the SEC has now stated that it does not want to disclose the long-awaited Hinman documents, where William Hinman stated that Ethereum is not a security. Some time ago, the US federal court ordered the SEC to let Ripple have a look at the documents, but the SEC still seems to be fighting against this decision, stating, quote, 
but if these documents were to become part of the public record, the SEC would be foreclosed from making any such argument in the future, on appeal in this litigation or in other litigation, which would be highly prejudicial to the SEC. Unquote. Ripple community attorney Jeremy Hogan says in this context, quote, The SEC is still arguing that the Hinman emails are privileged despite losing that issue about a hundred times already. Blows my mind. And makes me re-curious, is that a word? About what is in them, unquote. So this will definitely be interesting in the next time. I will keep you posted whether there will be an agreement on the Hinman documents or the SEC is able to avoid giving Ripple access to the documents. Solana in trouble The DGOTS NFT art collection has announced on Twitter that it no longer wants to work on Solana and that in Q 2023 it will officially bridge to Ethereum. Another NFT company, Utes, is also following this example and is planning to bridge to Polygon. Some community members are happy about the decisions, some are not. Only time can tell whether this makes sense, but this is not a good sign for Solana, when two top NFT collections are moving away from the platform. Solana has already promised to face the challenges it has suffered from with a new validator in 2023 and to be working on improving the reliability. FTX News The former FTX CEO and former billionaire Sam Bankman-Fried got out of jail after he posted a bond of $250 million in the New York court. The money is said to come partly from his parents, but many people are also wondering where the rest of the money came from. Some also say that the bond did not have to be paid, it was enough knowing that his assets are worth this amount. The home of the parents is said to be worth $4 million. Alameda Research seems to have funded the purchase of the Robinhood shares worth more than $546 million, which then were later used as a collateral for Alameda to secure a loan from BlockFi. You see, the entanglements are pretty complicated, and it will probably take a lot of time also for the prosecutors to understand and solve them. Short news Security.org has published a report about the richest Bitcoin investors, and they can be found in the USA, China and Canada, with 40% of the richest crypto investors coming from the US alone. But this data was analyzed before the crash of 2022, so Sam Bankman-Fried was on the number one which is not up to date anymore. The second richest Bitcoin investor is Satoshi Nakamoto, the Bitcoin creator, and the third richest is Chang Peng Zhao, the CEO of Binance. It will be interesting to compare this data after the next bull run, I guess. There could be some big changes ahead. Dogecoin vs Shiba Inu Dogecoin has performed way better than Shiba Inu this year, even though the Shiba community is very active on developing a Layer 2 network and several other developments. Doge is the third best performer in the top 10 cryptocurrencies, but we have to say that due to the bear market, all of them have not performed very well this year. Doge is down only 58%, whereas Shiba Inu is down 76.1% compared to one year ago. The Mango market exploiter that allegedly drained $100 million in cryptocurrencies from the exchange was arrested in Puerto Rico and charged with market manipulation and fraud. Coins of the Day Now let's talk about the best three of the top 200 cryptocurrencies that have performed best in the last 24 hours according to CoinGecko. OKB is number one. This cryptocurrency has made 2.4% in the last 24 hours. Number two is shared by Terra Luna Classic and Tether Gold with 2.1%. I'm now going to introduce OKB. OKB is a utility token that is used for the crypto exchange platform OKEX which is one of the largest crypto platforms, for example the third largest regarding the liquidity. When holding OKB, the users can calculate and pay the trading fees on the platform and they also have then access to voting and governance features on OKEX. OKB is an ERC20 token that relies on a proof of stake mechanism. Today the OKB token trades at 23.59 USD and the highest price was 44.01 USD in May 2021 and the lowest price was 0.58 USD in January 2019. Twitter post of the day Let's have a look at the Twitter post of the day of HED DeFi Edge. What I'm looking for in crypto projects 2023. Modes, transparency, differentiators, great tokenomics, revenue generation, an obsessed founder, 
clear communication, rapid iteration, shipping times, set a higher standard for your investments and wait. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to support me. Down there you can also find my playlist with interesting videos about coin developments over time.